Uh, here you can see how I torched a hole in the top of these Chinese made light boxes. And then I, can you see it? I torched a hole in the frame member right here. So then I'll can run the wires after I weld it up here, weld it through the, or move the wires through the tube all the way to the front. There's a hole in the front too. Okay. All right, here you can see, I just had some heavy gauge wire. I don't even know what it is. And I, I don't have a fish tape. That's why it's shoved in that end. It goes all the way through and then I stick my finger in there and try to grab it. I got that sight ran already. And uh, I'm kind of running the wires before I mount the boxes. Had some of this, uh, I don't even know what it is, corrugated wire loom cover stuff. I'm gonna put that over the top of the wire right here, just to protect it a little bit. Oh, let me do, I don't know, a foot or so on each end. Should look good. Well, this is for my buddy Greg. I don't, I don't have any good steel to mount any of this stuff to. And we always make jokes about using bed frames. Well, here I am, I'm cutting this baby up. I need the angle iron. Okay, working on the rear marker lights. Uh, those are the three lights you see on the back of trailers. Um, I can't honestly remember why you need them or what you need them, if it's a width, weight, whatever, but um, all the good trailers have them, so I'm gonna put them on there. Uh, I measured on my other trailer, they're 15 inches on center. I'm not sure if there's a rule on the size or the whatever. Uh, I got these bundle of lights here that I'm going to use on the trailer and uh, I'm just going to use three of these and uh, you, know, you can see how I got a mark here. I'll pop one more on each side and then I'll work on that one. Fun fact, if you're welding right next to a bunch of leaves and dry stuff on a super hot day like this, <laughs> it will start on fire. So I got this chain. I don't remember where I got it from. I don't know. I got these hooks too. They're, it's all junk. But anyways, I'm going to hook them onto here. I think they're going to hook that stake pocket. And that's what's going to keep the doors open. But I only have so much chain, so I can't screw this up. Can't break. Here you can see I'm kind of trying to make some stake pockets. Because, I don't know, I should just buy them. But um, what I'm thinking is, I got this 4-inch tube. 2x4 sits in there, I'm just gonna cut it on its edge. So that goes. Okay, putting the stake pockets on here, it's just that two by four tubing, and uh, I got it all welded on. I think it's strong enough, but it looks really stupid when you just weld a uh, half inch plate steel like that and leave it sitting out. So these are all the corner pieces from the flat sheet metal uh, decking. I got four of them. I'm just welding these on, and uh, just honestly for looks. Super convenient to put your torch in there. Yeah, buddy, getting closer to the end. Working on these mounts here for spare tires. Putting two on there, because it'll just look more symmetrical. I didn't have long enough threaded rods, so I'm welding some shaft that I have onto a bolt. And then welding onto the steel there, you can see. First time I tacked it on, I tried it, and it ran into the toolbox there, so I had to move it over and then I uh, can just kind of set it on the frame there. <clears throat> I guess I could have just left it and then lifted the box up, but I don't know, I think this will be all right. There you go, progress update. <laughs> so I welded this on here and I forgot about the sheet metal thickness on the side. I just welded it on there and now I gotta cut it back off. I don't know if you can see it, but there I just went underneath there and finished welding everything. That sucked, my arms are actually tired from holding up the welding gun. And uh, I was really stingy with my welds because I don't have much wire left. And I don't want to buy more. I'm so freaking excited I couldn't wait any longer. Got her hooked up to my uh, 76 Ford pickup. And you can see she's got her squatted, but springs are a little bit worn. Pulled Greg's mom around too much. And uh, it, uh, I mean, it does that with almost any trailer to be truthful. But I like, I like the way it's sitting. Um, it's not quite as bad as the camper, I don't think, but not even, well, much worse than my other trailer. Anyways, I'm gonna take it on the road and see how she goes. There's the sleeping 